Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about ginger. Ginger is a root that has been used for centuries for its various health benefits. It has been used in traditional medicine for its anti-inflammatory and digestive properties. However, like any other natural supplement, ginger can have side effects and it is not suitable for everyone. In this video, we will talk about the side effects of ginger and who should avoid using it. When consumed, ginger stimulates the production of digestive enzymes, which help to break down food and improve nutrient absorption. It also helps to relax the muscles of the digestive tract, reducing symptoms of bloating, cramping, and constipation. Ginger can also help to reduce nausea and vomiting, making it a popular remedy for morning sickness during pregnancy. However, ginger can cause digestive problems in some people. Heartburn Ginger contains compounds that can stimulate the production of stomach acids, which may lead to heartburn or acid reflux in some people. Diarrhea. Consuming large amounts of ginger can cause diarrhea in some individuals, especially if they have a sensitive stomach. Stomach upset. Ginger can cause mild stomach upset, including bloating, gas, and nausea in some people. One of the diseases in which ginger can cause negative effects is gallbladder disease, which affects the digestive system. The gallbladder is a small organ that stores bile, a substance produced by the liver that helps break down fats in the small intestine. When the gallbladder is not functioning properly, it can cause a range of symptoms such as abdominal pain, bloating, nausea, and vomiting. If you have gallbladder problems, it is not recommended to use ginger as it can exacerbate your symptoms. Ginger stimulates the production of bile, which may cause discomfort and pain in the gallbladder. Additionally, ginger may also increase the risk of gallstones in some people, which can lead to further complications. It is important to note that ginger can interact with certain medications, leading to adverse effects. One of the most common medications that should not be taken with ginger is blood-thinning medications, such as warfarin, aspirin, or heparin. Ginger can also have blood-thinning properties and can increase the risk of bleeding if taken together with these medications. In addition, ginger may interact with diabetes medications, such as insulin or metformin. Ginger can lower blood sugar levels, and when taken with diabetes medications, it can cause hypoglycemia, which can be dangerous. Ginger can also interact with certain medications used to treat high blood pressure such as calcium channel blockers and beta blockers. Ginger can cause blood vessels to dilate, which can result in low blood pressure when taken with these medications. It is also important to note that ginger may interact with certain medications used to treat heart disease such as nitrates. Ginger can increase the effects of these medications, leading to a drop in blood pressure. While ginger is generally considered a healthy food for most people, those with a thin constitution or weak digestive system should be cautious when consuming it. This is because ginger is a warming food that increases body heat and can stimulate digestion, which may cause discomfort or aggravate certain conditions in those with a thin constitution. Also, sonsuming ginger during pregnancy can cause some problems for some women, and it's important to consult a healthcare provider before using it. Ginger can have a blood-thinning effect, which can increase the risk of bleeding. This can be particularly problematic during labor and delivery. It is important to talk to your doctor before using ginger or any other natural remedies if you have a medical condition. They can advise you on the best course of action and whether or not it is safe for you to use ginger. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking this video or subscribing if you haven't already done so. I really appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching.